Welcome to HowToCookGreatFood.com Hello, welcome to HowToCookGreatFood.com Today I'll be making some gnocchi. That's the pasta I'm using. You can in fact use any pasta you want. It's actually about the sauce, this one. So it's chicken with uh, green olives and cream. It's really easy. It's super simple. And I'll just run through the ingredients with you and then, then we'll get over to the cooker. So I've got some onion here, really, really cut small. I've got some thin sliced chicken breast. Again, I've cut that as thin as I can. Touch of garlic, there's like a, a teaspoon and a half of garlic. Some quality grated Parmesan cheese. I've got salt, pepper, some dried oregano just here. Chopped green olives, you could use black if you want. I just prefer the green ones in this dish. And I've got some cooking cream over there in the right hand corner. That's about 200 ml. So let's get straight up to the cooker and get this super, super fast, delicious chicken pasta sauce ready. Okay, so I've got my pan here with a touch of nice quality olive oil in. I'll just pan up a little bit there. You see at the back there, I've got at the same time a pan of water with salt in, salted water, that's for the gnocchi. Like I say, we'll do this exactly at the same time. It takes just a few minutes. Okay, let's get back into that pan. It's on fairly high heat. Let's chop those onions in. That thinly sliced chicken. Our garlic. Our salt, pepper and oregano. And the reason I've cut this chicken so thin is because I just want to cook this really quickly. Now as you can see, I've not been shy with the olive oil. That's what's going to give it one of the great flavours. I mean, this smells amazing already. Absolutely divine. Let me just grab those olives. They can go straight in now. They'll add a nice saltiness to the dish. Unbelievably, we're only a few minutes away here. So, just cook this for literally two minutes, and then we'll be ready to add our cream and our parmesan. I'll be back in two minutes. Here we go then, so I say, that's just two minutes. That chicken's cooked nicely now. Those onions have softened. This is why everything's cut so small. We want to do this really quickly. Let's get our cream in. Like I said, this is a cooking cream. It's about 200 ml. You can use a regular single cream or a fresh double cream. It's up to you. Let's just mix this all in. It smells amazing. I've got a nice garlic smell up there. I've got that oregano coming out. It's all good to me. Right, and then a little bit of Parmesan cheese sprinkled in there. Mix that up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop my gnocchi into this water, which I'm going to do right now. That's just going to go straight in. You can use any pasta, like I say. I mean, I'm just using gnocchi because I just fancied some gnocchi today, but anything you like goes well with this. And uh, the great thing about this gnocchi is that uh, it's fresh. So you don't really cook it. It's kind of already cooked. You're just heating it up, really. Okay, look, this sauce is done. Let's turn the heat off. I'll be back in two or three minutes when my gnocchi is ready, and then I'm going to just drop that in there. See you then. Okay, well I think my uh, knock is ready. I've just put the heat back on this sauce. Let me see if I can grab this knocky. Should I use a little strainer? There you go, I'm gonna pop that in there. Beautiful. So, we are pretty much there. Just let this cook with the heat on again, just for a couple of minutes, so we penetrate some of that beautiful flavour into that gnocchi. I'll dish this up on the plate, I'll see you at the table, and 
and uh, that is it. That was quick enough, wasn't it? Easy enough to do. See you in a few minutes. Okay, there you have it. Super, super fast, absolutely delicious. Don't forget, if you want to make this fast, the chicken has to be really cut thin, as do the onions. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna have a problem, you know, having the chicken not cooked. I don't think this is the healthiest dish in the world, and it's certainly not the healthiest dish that I've cooked recently, but I do love it so much. We'll see you again next time. Take care. HowToCookGreatFood.com Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. For more information, take a look at our website, www.howtocookgreatfood.com.